Hey everybody, this is Marianne Cleary and I haven't done one of these walking videos for a while. Now, on Sunday, at the time of this recording, my, mo my mother and I went to go and see Top and Wedding. It took me some while to gather my thoughts together before I did this review. And this is actually from the same creative team that brought us the Soprano, um, the Sapphires, which is an Aboriginal band um, that performed for the Australian troops. This, as the title suggests, is a wedding in the top end. Now, for all of you non-Australians, the top end is, sorry about the glare, um, I am referring to Darwin, Catherine, that rough end of Australia. Now that's what we affectionately call that area of the country. And we follow a, a native, well, she's part native, part Western girl. Yes, I can say that, or Caucasian, I should say. Her mother is, her mother is an indigenous woman to, um, to the Catherine and um, specifically an island up there. I've forgotten what the island is. <laughs> um, and on her wedding day, she ran away from, she pretty much was the antithesis of the runaway bride. So she jumped on a boat, headed to Darwin, and hooked up with a white fella, as what they call, would call me. And they produced this child. Now we pick up about, I would say maybe 20, maybe, maybe 25 years. I'm not really sure how old uh, the lead actor is supposed to be in this movie. But we pick up some time later. And she herself is the antithesis of a workaholic. Now she is just been made a partner in, a, I believe it's a law firm or something along those lines. I really do uh, apologize for the glare. Um, and her boyfriend at the start of the movie has decided to chuck in the towel and quit his job as a lawyer. Now, the same day that he chucks in the towel, she gets the promotion that she's always wanted, he pops the question. And her boss pretty much says, I do not want to lose you, take 10 days to plan and have this wedding and to pretty much go on your honeymoon. Hilarity ensues. Um, I don't really want to spoil the ending of this movie. It is such a beautifully put together movie with its craziness and um, the way she sort of is a bit jittery. The actor who plays her father is really, really, um, <laughs> he's just hysterically funny. Um, and it works so well as a movie because she's trying to put her family back together. Uh, she has a crazy family um, from back in the top end. She's moved actually down to Melbourne. Yes, that is how you say it, Americans. It's Melbourne, not Melbourne. It really annoys me. It's my little spat for the day. Um, and so she's gone back up um, to the top end to have this wedding with her boyfriend. And it's such a great sort of um, movie and 
if you love a good like movie like romantic comedy or even just a wedding movie in general this is such a lovely put together movie that by the end of the movie I was literally in tears that is so rare for me to really sit there and cry um, but if you just love a good wedding movie in general like um, Muriel's wedding or my best friend's wedding you will seriously seriously love this movie and the if you like Aussie movies in pretty much general this movie is ticks so many different boxes it's not bloody funny um I love the fact that they now they now Australian uh, indigenous culture is coming sort of two movie screens um this um the, the sapphires um rubber proof fence it's great to see more indigenous movies being made and we sort of understand more of the indigenous culture this definitely does go into that sort of culture as a caucasian australian or white fella white fellow Australian it's great to see it um, make more Australia I make more of these sort of movies I want to know more about um, different indigenous areas and cultures this is such a good movie for that I wish they would make more what do I give this definitely out of five this would definitely be, I'd definitely be buying this for my mum when it eventually hits, then it eventually hits DVD. So, um, which is a five out of five. But a movie to make me cry, that's such a good job. Now, have you seen Top End Wendy? Please write down in the comment section below and I shall see you very soon. The Avengers is coming. The Avengers is coming. Don't you worry about that. I'll see ya.